Are constant FPS drops and stuttering ruining your Fortnite experience, especially on a low-end PC? In this video, I'll walk you through the most effective settings and system optimizations that will eliminate lag, reduce stuttering, and give you a serious FPS boost, even if you're running Fortnite on older or budget hardware. These tweaks are simple, safe, and highly effective. Let's dive straight in. First, open your Epic Games Launcher, locate Fortnite in your library, click on the three dots next to it, and select Options. In the Install Settings, look for Pre-Download Streamed Assets, and make sure this option is enabled. This setting allows Fortnite to load essential assets ahead of time, reducing the chances of random stutters while you're in-game. If this setting is off, Fortnite tries to load textures and models in real time, which often leads to FPS drops on slower drives or systems with limited RAM. Now, if you're not chasing ultra graphics and want smoother performance, it's a smart move to disable high resolution textures. These textures may enhance visuals, but they also eat up valuable system memory and GPU resources. Disabling them can significantly improve frame rates, especially during intense fights or in crowded areas. Also, if you never play the PvE mode Save the World, make sure to uncheck that option as well. Removing these extra files not only saves disk space, but also lightens the overall load on your system. Now open the start menu, right click it, and select run. In the dialog box that appears, type msconfig and hit enter. This will open the system configuration window. Now navigate to the services tab. Before making any changes, make sure to check the box that says hide all Microsoft services. This is extremely important. It hides essential Windows services so you don't accidentally disable something critical. After doing that, you'll see a list of third-party services, including ones from Intel, AMD, or Nvidia. You should leave those enabled, as they're related to your hardware, and usually important for stability and performance. Next, go through the remaining list carefully. Look for services from apps or software that you've installed but rarely use, like update checkers, audio utilities, or background sync services. When you find one that's not necessary, uncheck it. Repeat this process until you've disabled all the non-essential services. Once done, click apply, then OK to close the window. If a prompt appears asking you to restart, you can safely choose exit without restart, for now. The changes will take effect the next time your system reboots, and you should notice improved responsiveness and fewer background interruptions during gameplay. Now here's something special. Download my Fortnite Performance Boost Pack directly from my website. The link is in the description. Inside the pack, you'll find a one-click script that automatically disables extra services and applies performance-friendly settings. Run the script as administrator, and when prompted, select Yes to apply all the tweaks. The process is quick, and once done, you'll be notified. If you ever want to undo the changes, simply select option 2 and everything will be restored. Next, let's fine-tune the Windows registry to disable unnecessary visual effects that are only slowing your system down. Within the boost pack, you'll find a registry file. Just double-click it and confirm the change. This tweak turns off visual extras like taskbar animations and window transitions, allowing more system resources to be directed toward Fortnite instead of Windows Eye Candy. Now it's time to unlock Ultimate Performance Mode, which is especially useful on mid to high-end systems, but can benefit low-end PCs as well. Run the included script with administrator rights to enable this hidden power plan. Once activated, open your control panel or Windows settings and navigate to power options. There, you'll find the ultimate performance plan. Select it. This mode removes power saving limits and gives your CPU and GPU the green light to operate at their highest potential during gameplay. Let's go even further and improve system level responsiveness with the MSI mode utility tool. This tool enhances how your CPU and GPU communicate. Run the tool as administrator, find your primary GPU in the list, and make sure that MSI mode is enabled. For most users, keeping the interrupt priority on normal is the safest and most stable option, but you can set it to high also. Once you choose, click apply, and you're done. This simple tweak can reduce input lag and ensure faster response times during gameplay. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. 
The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now go to the start menu and type defrag into the search bar. From the results, click on defragment and optimize drives. This will open a tool that lists all the storage drives currently connected to your system. Choose the drive you want to optimize, whether it's a traditional HDD or an SSD, and click the analyze button. This will scan the drive to determine if it needs optimization. For HDDs, it checks how fragmented the files are, and for SSDs, it evaluates whether a trim operation is necessary to maintain peak speed. Once the scan is complete, if the tool recommends optimization, go ahead and click the Optimize button. For SSDs, this process usually completes in seconds. For HDDs, it may take longer depending on drive size and the amount of data stored. It's a good habit to optimize any drive that needs it, regardless of how long the process takes. And don't worry, you can close the window after starting the optimization, and it will continue running quietly in the background without affecting your workflow. Doing this helps ensure faster file access and smoother in-game loading, which is especially helpful for low-end PCs struggling with Fortnite performance. Now search for game mode and make sure it's turned on. Game mode limits background processes while you're gaming, giving Fortnite more room to breathe. To make sure Fortnite uses your dedicated GPU instead of the integrated one, go to Graphics Settings in Windows, click Browse, and locate your Fortnite executable file. Once added, click Options and select High Performance. This forces Windows to prioritize your more powerful GPU for Fortnite. Lastly, search for Core Isolation in the Windows search bar, navigate to the Memory Integrity section and turn it off. Core Isolation is a security feature that helps protect your system from malicious attacks by isolating certain processes. However, it also consumes CPU resources, which can negatively impact gaming performance. If you want to boost FPS and minimize stutters, you can temporarily disable this feature. Keep in mind that this lowers security, so it's best to re-enable it once you're done gaming to keep your system protected. And that's it! Follow each step and you'll see a noticeable improvement in both your FPS and overall smoothness while playing Fortnite, even on low-end hardware. Make sure to leave a like if this guide helped you, subscribe for more performance tutorials, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.